Hello and welcome back to the Eyes of Old Gaming channel. Thank you so much for joining me here. Today I have the second video in my Voice of Old ranting series. If you came here for strictly gaming content, this video is essentially just me talking to you. Uh, so you may want to head back to my channel and check out some of my other videos. Because uh, this one might not be for you then. Really, I wanted to make this video for others who might be in my spot. As a small content creator on YouTube or Dailymotion or Facebook. Uh, really wherever you upload your videos to. So if you're a small content creator like me, you're probably part of some kind of a small YouTuber community on social media, uh, maybe Facebook or Twitter or something, um, and most likely you're familiar with the concept of sub for sub. If you're just getting started and haven't heard of this before, or maybe you're not a content creator and just interested in this, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, but the basic idea is that two small creators agree to subscribe to each other's channels or subscribe for subscribe in order to artificially boost their subscriber numbers. Uh, now when I first started my channel I seemed to be the common way to go and many communities and forums do recommend it. Um, so pretty quickly I realized problems with this type of system though. Um, so problem one is they aren't interested in your content. Uh, so this is probably the biggest issue and most other issues are going to stem from this foundational problem. Uh, so most likely the people subscribing to your channel with this agreement are not actually interested in your content and you probably aren't interested in theirs either. Um, now that's not always the case and there has been a couple of channels that I found this way and was legitimately interested in and have stayed subscribed to and enjoy the content that they produce. Um, and there could possibly be people subscribed to my channel who found me this way as well and are legitimately interested in my videos and I think that's great. Um, the problem is that 99.9% .9 of the time this is not going to be the case and people are subbing to your channel just for the agreement so they won't actually watch your videos which brings me to problem two. So problem two is subscribers aren't watching your content and this stems from the first problem and actually tends to hurt your channel more. Um, you might have a ton of subs, but nobody is actually watching your videos and without watch time and likes, comments, etc. Your videos are not going to get recommended and will not end up getting advertised to other people. Also, if all your subscribers and views, likes, comments, uh, that kind of thing are coming from sub for sub content creators, uh, then YouTube's algorithms will most likely only suggest your videos to other sub for sub content creators. And these people might then ask for sub for sub, but it's really just going to keep compounding the same issue as before. Uh, they're not going to be watching your content regularly, and it's just going to keep making this issue get worse and worse for your channel. So now on to problem three, losing subscribers. Now, if majority of your subscribers are coming from sub for sub agreements, you're going to lose a ton of subscribers. Uh, this happens a few ways. The most common that I have found is from YouTube purges. So apparently if somebody subs to a bunch of channels but doesn't actually watch any of the videos then YouTube apparently automatically flags it as a bot or uh, basically just not as a real subscriber and then they remove it. And uh, from what I've heard from the legends from around the campfire, um, they say that uh, people get around this by watching a minimum amount of time on your video before subscribing which then tricks the system and allows them to stay subbed. Um, the other way you lose subs is that since people subbing were not actually interested in the first place, they just leave in a day or two. Um, so I've actually gone up to 30 or so subs and then back down to 12 and up and down over and over again. Um, so as a small creator, we all just want our videos to get out there and enjoyed by and bring entertainment to others. And it is a big blow when you finally reach one of those milestones like 25 or 30 only to drop back down to just a handful of people. So basically I just don't really do the sub for sub. And, um, when you consider people are looking for loopholes to keep fake subscribe accounts to trick the system and forcing themselves to watch a specific amount of your videos, do you really want them subscribed to the channel? Now I'm not trying to sound harsh at all and I want people to sub to my channel because they are actually entertain not because they're forced and hoping to get something in return now, I'm also not saying that you shouldn't be part of small YouTube or other platform content creator communities you definitely should um, it's a great way to find new content and there's always another channel out there waiting to be discovered and I'm actually on a few of these different communities and I regularly check out new creators 
uh, but I'm only going to sub if I actually like their content. Um, if it's similar to mine, I might ask if they check out my videos as well, as we might find some mutual interest. But again, I would hope that they only subscribe if they actually find my content interesting. And that's all I'm saying, that you should really just check out videos um, and then sub if you genuinely find it interesting. Uh, I really don't see the point anymore in trying to trick the system or artificially inflate my numbers, as it doesn't actually end up helping anyway. Um, of course, this is just my experience and my opinion. Um, and I wanted to put this out there so But yeah, that's uh, that's really all I wanted to say was just get my opinion out there as a small content creator uh, Getting like my opinion on the sub for sub phenomenon Which I see on basically every single small content creator community um, Like I said on Facebook Twitter reddit, whatever uh, Everybody's kind of saying the same thing and I've seen sort of mixed like some people are really um, like they really think that this sub for sub is the way to go um, but then other people I think the people who have been more successful typically just say don't even bother with it um, and that's kind of where I've gotten to I'm not saying that my channel is successful I'm still under like 30 subscribers so it's not like I have a huge channel or anything um, but from my experience doing the sub for sub just does not help it at all and uh, I, I don't really want to do that. And if I do subscribe to your channel, it's because I, I actually enjoy your content and I want to see more of uh, what you're producing. But um, yeah, I hope that you did find this video entertaining. Um, and like I said, let me know if you do agree or disagree down in the comments and we'll go from there. Uh, thank you so much for watching and until the next time, take care.